again, the excitement. And the whole world is watching this. All of the media, social media, it's, it's just amazing. Museums, everybody, everybody is a part of history. History and science and exploration taking place right here in Lower Maryland at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting close. Why don't we have everybody say their name very quickly? It's, it's, it's almost there. Again, what you're going to see, you're going to see thousands, probably more than a thousand people are crowded in this room. They're going to have American flags. They're gathering. They're hugging. Some, it's about America. We're getting ready to make history. Let's take it and see history in the making. Hey, Lillian, can you get John Grunsrow here real quick? John Grunsrow, I need you yeah, right now. You can see the atmosphere in the room, too. So people, they were waving flags, get started. New Horizon spacecraft passes its close approach mark at Pluto. After a three billion mile journey, nine and a half years, launched in January 2006, flew by Jupiter 2007, record speed across the solar system crossing planetary orbits faster than any other spacecraft had reached them. Speeds of 30,000 miles an hour. Almost hard to think of, hard to imagine. Still after nine and a half years, now made it. First on Pluto's doorstep, now past Pluto. Gathering amazing amounts of information. Opening the door to an entirely new region of the solar system that until recently we knew nothing about. This is exploration at its finest. Check it out, look how busy New Horizons still scanning away. Doesn't realize it just made history doing it right now. Go back to the room and see, see the folks on stage. That's the director of the Applied Physics Laboratory, Ralph Semmel. Mission uh, officials, we saw Alan Stern, principal investigator, the Tombaugh's. Okay, let's go back out to Dwayne Brown. My, Can you hear me? Mike, America's space program has written a new chapter in science and exploration. History has been made and standing next to me is one of those key individuals that has made that history happen. This is Dr. John Grunsfeld, and if you don't know him, I'm shocked because everyone knows him. Five-time space shuttle flown astronaut, also known as the Hubble Repairman, but he is the director of NASA's Science Mission Directorate, and New Horizons is one of almost 100 missions in the Science Mission Directorate. Dr. Grunsfeld, how does it feel? history and, uh, in science. Oh, it's just amazing. I mean, this is truly a hallmark in human history. It was the only planet that was not yet explored. What does it take to have a mission go billions stamps, of miles, take all in, about two nine ago, years, uh, lots of moving pieces? What's the secret to success like this? Well, people often think that the so success to missions like this you is, you know, the engineers, the hardware, the mission itself. But the We're real key the is the teamwork, and that's what NASA excels at, is think? bringing teams of scientists, engineers, technicians from industry, academia, from government together to do these incredible feats there you go. like we've and just done with New Horizons. Route. One last question. Okay, you know, so we, we made history have, today, but there's something, the, 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 the story's not over. There's something that has to happen this evening. What, describe that, that moment that's coming up this evening. Well, of course, we are this celebrating the moment by which United the New Horizons spacecraft had its closest approach to Pluto as it's taking all the incredible data. But we're not talking to the spacecraft. It's doing its job. Tonight, we're going to get the signal, the ping, that it made it through the system, and it's ready to start sending us the treasure trove of data.
Congratulations, Dr. Grunshaw. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm just having all the special guests here. Hey, Dwayne. This is Dr. Alan Stern, the principal investigator, the scientist, the main scientist on this mission. Pl pl history has been made, Dr. Stern. It's got to feel good. It feels good. You know, so many people put so much work into this around the country. Engineers and scientists, yeah. technicians, business people, people like yourself in communications. Uh, it's a moment of celebration because we've just done the anchor leg. We have completed the initial reconnaissance of the solar system. Uh, an endeavor started under President Kennedy more than 50 years ago, continuing to today under President Obama. It's really historic what the United States has done. And the New Horizons team is really proud to have been able to run that anchor leg and make this accomplishment. Well, Dr. Stern, before you go, and we have to transition, I know we've got another event coming up. Dr. Grunsfeld talked about, you know, the story is not over. We've got something that really is going to be special this evening. Give me your thoughts on what's going to transpire later on today. Right. Well, the spacecraft is currently doing its job taking measurements in the Pluto system at a very rapid pace. And uh, we are going to have it check back in with us about 9 p.m. Eastern time tonight. And that's when we'll find out if it completed its job successfully. Dr. Stern, congratulations. And I'll see you this evening. Thank you, Dwayne. So, Mike, head down at Countdown Central, where you heard Dr. Grunsfeld, you heard Dr. Stern, and others. America's Space Program has written a new chapter in space and exploration.